What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today we're checking out a gaming keyboard that has all of the amazing features that you need out of a gaming and productivity keyboard but specifically is good for travel. I really haven't seen a product that filled this category. Either keyboards are good at gaming or productivity or they're focused on travel alone, but I feel like this keyboard when it comes to the specs, the tech features, as well as the connectivity options and the versatility, but most importantly, the RGB and the ergonomics of the typing mechanism, really checks all the boxes that a gamer would be looking for in not only their home setup, but especially if you're looking for a low profile and ultra portable setup to bring on the go and take your gaming experience with you everywhere. This right here is called the ROG Falchion RX 65% low profile keyboard. And I'm gonna be giving this keyboard away to one of you guys. So just go ahead and make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below as to what your favorite feature is and how you're going to use it, as well as your Instagram username. And we'll be contacting a winner directly in two weeks and a huge thanks to ROG for sponsoring this video. So ROG is of course a company that you're very familiar with as being in the leading edge when it comes to gaming technology. Whether it comes to their computers or their accessories, I think from a design standpoint I've been very attracted to their products but most importantly when it comes to tech features as well and I use a lot of ROG parts in my custom gaming PC but at the same time we've checked out a lot of different keyboard and the first thing you're going to notice here is that it is very low profile. It comes in at just 26 and a half millimeters and this is a 65% keyboard that has been packed into the form factor of a 60% keyboard because of just how thin the edges are which adds to the whole portability element and I feel like this type of keyboard has become very very popular especially in the past few years. We've also seen an increasing amount of mechanical keyboards that have this form factor because nowadays People want to be able to bring things on the go, but also have the same amazing experience that you would expect out of a full-fledged setup. The way it looks is awesome. I mean, you take a look at just a very seamless design that is rounded off. It is made out of metal and very durable, but at the same time, you have customization options of the height with three different height options, and it's also pretty light to bring around. At the same time, the amount of key travel and the actual mechanical switches is something we're gonna talk about. From a design standpoint, it really is a product that looks simple in its design and similar to what you'd find out there for a small keyboard, but has so many features under the hood that are really useful and I don't feel like they're any way excessive. I also love how it includes a cover that you're either able to use uh, while you're using the keyboard at your desk like this or you can also just flip it over and it becomes like a protective case for the keys as you travel with it. So just go ahead and pop that on and you can take it with you anywhere. I think the white design is also very minimal. It looks awesome, but the angle is also really comfortable. When it comes to the comfort level, I find that I typically like to have it at the highest hinged option. That way I'm able to just set it down, start typing, and my hands are able to rest very comfortably. And I find that the keys are very well spaced out, but the mechanical feedback is also right in the middle. You have two different options when it comes to switches. There's the red switches as well as the blue switches. And just to summarize, the red is more of a linear feel, whereas the blue is more clicky. And I find that for a portable hybrid keyboard that I use for productivity as well, I usually prefer something like the red switches. For an at-home setup, having like the blue switches that's a little bit louder is nice to have, but it really comes down to your personal preference and personal use. But the amount of key travel being low profile keys is great. I mean, it's one of the most comfortable typing experiences that I've had for a keyboard that you're able to bring out everywhere. And I think the portable element of it just makes it that much better. It also features pre lube cable stabilizer, so you won't notice any wobble between the keys. The keyboard also doesn't have any sort of bend or rumble, and that is to be expected for this size. And part of that is thanks to the metal design that holds everything together in this relatively compact frame. But at the same time, it has two layers of dampening. And so as you're typing down on the keyboard, you don't feel the surface or anything shake. On the back of the keyboard, you also have a multi-function control and touch panel. And that starts with the buttons right here, but you also have the touch panel that indicates all of the different settings and stuff through the actual light bar on the top. When it comes to the connectivity, it is also wide open. You can charge it and connect via USB type C. There's also an ROG Omni receiver that is integrated and low profile and allows you to not only connect the keyboard, but also a compatible ROG mouse at the same time. So you can use a single dongle and free up USB ports, but you can also connect via Bluetooth 
and this keyboard works with PC and Mac. And so you can just switch that toggle right here and it will change the different button layouts. And that just makes it really nice for both productivity and gaming. I usually like to use one keyboard for everything because it is just what I'm used to. And having to switch between different keyboards at work or from home can just take away from the experience. So I just love how portable this is. And when it comes to battery life, it is about 400 hours if you don't use the LED lights. So you may not need that during the daytime, but if you're gaming, you have them on, your suitable will get really, really good battery life. And again, the fact that you can charge it via USB type C and have that wireless option for gaming is great because I know some keyboards are limited to a wired setup, which is for that purpose. But generally speaking, this versatility of the low latency receiver, as well as being able to use it for Bluetooth in like a productivity setting is super handy. As for the RGB, it has a wireless or a sync RGB lighting, which means you're able to sync it with your computer and have it specific to your own personalized functions or to sync with games and the lighting configuration of your PC, for example. That's really a way that it embraces the gaming element because you have that hybrid layout of both the RGB and that like leisure mode and just like a productivity mode where you have your lights off to save battery, perhaps during the daytime. So I think that is a super cool function and an amazing addition to any desk setup. And that is why it really is like the ultimate hybrid travel, gaming and productivity keyboard all in one. Super portable, really nice to type with, looks great, has all the gaming functions that you could need, try connectivity options, works with PC and Mac, good battery life and also customizable touchpad on the back that saves space, but it also allows you to still control stuff such as multimedia, volume, and all the things that you usually would have out of a larger keyboard that has specific function keys. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in the next video.